headquarters and we're going to work on the log skidding. I'll show you guys what's going on with some of the equipment. Well, we're going to be working on equipment today. I'm going to get this skidder out of here or pull it out in the sun where I can see. And then I'll tell you guys a little bit about what's going on. So we got one more truck coming today. We'll, uh, we'll get that truck loaded and we're going to be working on this stuff. If you guys are wondering about the hoodie, uh, go check out Turner Logging LLC on YouTube. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, and check out Logger Threads on Instagram. I'll put a link in the description for that. He sells all kinds of uh, shirts and they have some of the most original designs that I've seen. I really like them. I've had a few for three or four years. Uh, we'll go to my house real quick and I'll show you guys what I got and what they look like and then we'll come back and get to work. All right guys, so here's a couple more shirts I got. I've had this one for three or four years. Um, like I said, I just really like the designs on these. They're, they're really original. You can tell somebody put a lot of uh, time and effort into designing these shirts. Um, original designs, that's the hoodie I was wearing. Shirt I got for my wife. And I am wearing Sawdust and Diesel Fuel Double Bed Axe shirt. So like I said, I just really like these shirts. Uh, I think they're cool. Some of the best designs on the market for this type of, uh, you know, for the logging culture. The t-shirts and hoodies, the apparel. So jump on over, check them out. Use the uh, links in the description. Uh, I got in touch with uh, Turner Logging, and uh, I told him I really liked his stuff. So I told him if he'd send me some stuff, I'd put it out there for you guys to check it out. So go check it out, you know, buy some if you like it. Um, and we'll get back to work. So here's what we're doing. We're going to pull this caliper out. Yeah. Don't no, there's three here on top. There's four across the top of it. There's three more back here. Right. Those have to come. And this thing's a house cat to pull out. We'll get it out and we'll see what's going on with it. All right, we got a caliper out. The reason we took this out is we broke this line off the other day. We tried to bleed it. Uh, so we pulled this out. Turns out, for some reason, here on this master cylinder that line goes right in here and we're not getting any oil coming out so we're going to see what's up with that you just guess now that goes in I do most of it. <laughs> Let's get that. All right, we're going back on with our caliper here. We tore this line off when we was uh, when we were looking at it the other day. So we got this back on. We got it bent approximately to where we think it needs to be. So we're going to try to get these pads yeah, to where they'll stay stay open while we uh, set it over on there. Control most of the back of it. You got a bite on it. Okay. I tell you, right on back. Pull your bar out a little bit. All right, we're close. Pads are uh, get ready to fall down on there if we, if we don't mess it up. There it went. Perfect. Cool. Now come back to my side. Mm. 
we got to get it over a mile. Easy now, easy. All right, let's try it with the bar. It's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. Yeah. Just keep scooting it. Right, easy. Right on. Is it this still in between the pads on your side? They look to be pretty, I can't tell. Well, don't tip. I can't get my hand in there to see. They look to be more I'm at, I don't know. Hold this up. Looks like Bell ought to be able to roll it over through there. Good if you can handle it. I'll try it again. She can get little fingers right there on top of each calibre. Don't pick it up. Just kind of pick, pick it up and just real easy grow it open. Nope, we'll just take it right on over. Let me see if I can help you a little bit. All right. Yeah, hold up. We're close. Oh, I think we can do it the rest of the way, sticking screwdriver down these bolt holes. Okay, cool. Yep. Well, we got it pretty much back in. Where she goes. So, uh, we're going to bolt it down, hook it up, and see if it works this time. So, the clip you saw earlier in the video was yesterday working on the skitter. Uh, we're going to load another truck today, go back. That radiator is supposed to be in today for the loader. So we're going to get that put in. And uh, we got the master cylinder rebuilt yesterday on the skidder. So we'll hook it up to the caliper today and make sure that, uh, that our pads are working on that caliper and the skidder should be ready to go. So we'll see you guys back up at the barn and uh, we'll get to work on the, on the skidder. All right, so we took this master cylinder out yesterday, rebuilt it. Didn't have time to hook it back up today, but we got it hooked back up to the caliper. Didn't have time to hook it up last night. Yeah, we didn't have time to hook it back up last night. So we got it hooked up. We're going to see. We wouldn't get any brake fluid out of this little port right here, so we rebuilt it. And now it's coming out, so we're going to see if our calipers are working now. got the skitter back together brakes are working so now we're going to shift and we're going to jump in on this loader put the radiator back in it <laughs> 